Hello and welcome to The Final 30. I am your host, Zach Romero. Now this is a show where I watch the last 30 minutes of a random B-movie and then decide if I want to start it over or begin the therapy. Today we look at the ending of 1959's Beast from Haunted Cave. So as far as I can tell, we're dealing with some sort of middle school production of Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. A group of thieves slash murderers slash delinquents shack up with a random frontiersman in the wake of a terrible blizzard. What we're supposed to accept as tension arises as good guy brawny man looks to blow the whistle on all the villainous menfolk. But the criminal lady's cute so she can stay. So this basically brings us from what I gather is the main crux of the film. Are the villains gonna get away with everything? Or is the frontiersman gonna be murdered first? Well, never mind that sh HERE COMES A GIANT SPIDER! Hey, you know what, I'm sorry, maybe you missed what I said previously. The Blizzard robbery drama got bored and decided to make itself a giant spider attack movie in the last three minutes. Now truth be told, it's a little bit of a dry thriller but it is so unbelievably ripe for riffing. The overdramatic reactions, the pauses in dialogue that politely allow you to make snide remarks, the inclusion of a giant spider pretty much just makes it par for the course for a random episode of Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> and there's a weird scene where one of the criminals just kind of bumble f***s while cooking for no reason. Anyway, the gang ends up trapped in this cave with said giant spider, which is just barely explained in passing dialogue. The spider eats the bad guy leader, everyone else then jumps in and sets the damn thing on fire. And the best part is, the movie doesn't even try to top this moment. After this scene happens, we immediately jump to the end credits. No where are they now, no survivalist drama, just HOLY sh what is that? Uh, charred spider legs? Gross! Well anyway, that's all we've got for our film tonight, so have a good night and be nice to somebody in the parking lot. And I met Alex. Young and loaded. I liked the way he pushed me around. I liked it. Uh, the movie's not perfect, but we can't let something with this much comedic talent go. Let me tell you a little fun fact about me. I could watch a random stagehand slap the shit out of an actor with some weird spider leg tentacle all damn day. See, so yeah, I would definitely give this thing another go around. This was certainly a refreshing change of pace from the streak of dog shit that I've had to deal with recently, so hey, who knows, maybe it's a turning point in the show! I'm not gonna hold my breath. Thank you for watching The Final 30. I am Zach Romero. Until next time. <laughs>